So a quick update on Lotto, Lotto Destiny's hookless drama. So Zip has now investigated the front wheels of both Lotto Destiny riders that blew the tires off their hookless rims. You might remember the first incident happened at the UAE tour and the second was at Strada Bianca. The rims in question were the Zip 353 NSWs. They have now confirmed that in both cases, the wheels were damaged by major impacts. They've tested the carbon and claim that neither of the wheels were faulty. They uh, say that both breakages were wholly unrelated to the hookless design or the tire and rim width combination. However, interestingly, they are now advising all of their teams to run no smaller than, than 29 mil TSS compatible tires on their 25 mil internal rim widths. So I was chatting to someone that does not want to be named at SRAM. Um, Zip, so Zip weren't an official sponsor of Lotto Destiny at the time of the incidents. They were only officially a sponsor of Movistar. Movistar? Movistar? How do you pronounce Movistar? Movistar. Movi Movistar. And Q36.5. Um, they've apparently since signed a deal with Lotto Destiny to make sure that they are using the appropriate products for the, event, the events that they are doing. So they were ultimately saying that the wheels that they were using in those events are not wheels that they would have had their their official teams riding um which is a thing i guess i have to say i mean so the reason we're talking about it, get this again this is the third time we've talked about it is because ultimately it's the first time zip who are you know we're talking about hookless and zip are the manufacturer of the hookless wheels it's the first time they've put out a full statement i do think that this statement is all over the place because number one they're saying that it was caused by major impact and it would have happened to any wheel. So if that's your line, then you kind of almost don't, it, the rest is irrelevant. But I think almost by trying to then explain it further, it creates more doubt because then they're saying, they said, look, 28 mil tires on 25 mil rims should be fine. However, we're now recommending that you go up to 29 mil. It's kind of a mixed message there, isn't it? Yeah, and also they're saying, you know... But the, well, they're, they're only saying that to the teams. They're not saying that to consumers. Exactly, yeah. It and seems. they're saying that it is still it is still fine to to do that. I think I think people are trying to turn it into a hookless thing. It's, it's like they want, they want to attribute it to being this new thing. It's yeah. the same when disc brakes initially come out and there's a few crashes in the peloton and everyone goes, oh, I've got this mark on my shoe and therefore disc brakes are horrendously dangerous. It, it's not so much disc brakes, it's just... The nature of racing is yep. it's really dangerous. Crashes happen frequently, and as much as they can post, yeah, in, in I don't know how how uh, the, the duration between the two events within two weeks of each other, mm. whatever. I mean, during that same time, there's probably a hundred other crashes where a bunch of other clincher wheels have been smashed up with the rest of it. And it's not because they're clinchers; it's just because racing's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Stuff gets broken, and I, I don't think I think to, yeah, I think the only. Slightly confusing thing here is, is Zipper now trying to address it. It's like just, you don't need to address it. Yeah, say. totally. The, the bit that seems weird to me is I I just don't see how one millimetre difference makes a difference. <laughs> it can't do. And the thing is, they, they acknowledge that the 28 mil, the smaller 28 mil on the 25 mil rim is IOS, ISO approved and it's been used safely in the Peloton for three seasons now. Mm. So it would be weird that it'd be used fine for three seasons and then in two weeks this happens. Even, even the point of one millimetre, it's like yeah. when you consider that if you put 10 different brands' tyres on those wheels, there would be at least one millimetre difference between, like there would, I doubt any of them would measure exactly 28 mil. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, so, in the so shop you mean actual me. like production variation? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, interesting. There's this huge amount of variance. I mean, yeah. like I think, I think yeah, tyres, they had to, it took ages for tyres to be approved the hookless compatibility anyway, because they had to made, be made to a, a slightly better standard. So initially when they started selling them, it was like like a good year seemed to have done a bit more. Yeah, well, their, their ties were, most of their range was compatible with hookless, where brands like Vittoria, um, I think Conti, there was like a very limited range of what you could officially run hookless. Whereas yeah. I say that's, that's evolved and it seems like the list is getting longer year on year. Um, but yeah, interestingly as well on, on Zip's website, they're still there's a list of hookless compatible tires and all of the 28 mils are still on there. So yeah. it's like, okay, so it's fine for consumers, but not necessarily the guys racing. It's like, I think purely from um, a PR standpoint, I'm not talking about the safety of, of the wheels or anything, but ultimately they've had, they've had a disaster in that, you know, they are a company that sell, I think all hookless, isn't it now? Or it's a yeah. majority. It's it, most yeah, of I their think, range is hookless, if yeah, not yeah, all. Yeah. So, this happening to them is ultimately a PR disaster. There's doubt in people's mind in terms of safety and they had to address it. But I think the, the 
point that they have gone wrong on is they should have just said the wheels were damaged due to major impact. It yeah, would have happened simple. anyway. Stop. Whereas <laughs> this kind of this idea, however, we've advised everyone changes a little bit and da, 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 it's, it's they still they've, they've created they've, the doubt again. They've reacted to it. They've created too much yeah. doubt. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. Yeah. But um, I think that they've sponsored this is complete speculation i think they've sponsored a lot of destiny because they you know you you want to keep them close and make sure nothing else i don't know i don't know if they have officially sponsored them but right. I, I i believe they have a relationship they, with they them have now. now a relationship so that they can they can advise them on the best products to use for the events that they're doing uh, so sip's statement ended will continue to advocate for hookless wheels for all of the benefits to the rider which includes significantly reduced prices at retail a better tubeless installation experience significantly lighter wheel weights <laughs> well we welcome the ensuing public discourse for improving rider safety and review of industry minimum required testing standards we strongly oppose the notion that these incidents were the result of hookless rim design or zip wheel safety standards 